We're learning about the importance of the 120 chart. In first grade, students are learning their numbers to 120. And what's important about the chart is for students to notice the pattern that exists in the chart. The rows have numbers that are moving up by 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. If I move to this row, from 42 plus 1 is 43. One more is 44. One more is 45. At the same time, the numbers can go down by 1 in that row. So from 26, take away 1 is 25. 1 less is 24. 1 less is 23. And so on. The columns now are moving down by increasing by 10. So 2 plus 110 is 12. 10 more is 22. 10 more is 32. Notice how the 1's are not changing, only the 10's are increasing. Again, if I begin on 47, 10 more, and 1 more 10 is 57, and 10 more is 67. So once the students realize the pattern that exists in the 120 chart, they can also take away and do one less. So 17, one less is 16, one less is 15. Again, if I move to a different row, 64, take away one is 63, take away one is 62. And the same with the tens. If I pick a number, 55, 10 less is 45. 10 less than 45 is 35. I'm decreasing the number of tens, not the ones. Once the children have recognized this pattern and are familiar with it, we will be able to count one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less. So I circle number 46 and I ask what is 10 more? So we go below, one more 10 is 56, and 10 less would be 36. There's only three tens. One less than 46, we move in the row for one more and one less is 45, and one more is 47. And we call these the number neighbors. So the target number is circled. We'll move to 13. One more, when we do one, we're in the rows, is 14, while one less is 12. 10 more than 13, we're just adding one more 10, we're coming down, is 23, and 10 less is 13. So the 120 chart is very important for the children to recognize the patterns in the rows, how we can move up and down by one more and one less, and the pattern in the columns, how we move up and down by 10 more and 10 less.